She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party And you know me Turn the O2 into the O3 Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe And hit the notification bells If you want to see every upload that I do Anyways, today's gonna be a different type of tutorial. We're gonna do a makeup tutorial. It's Saturday night. It's a chill night, and I just felt like doing a makeup tutorial tonight. So that's what I brought to you guys, and I brought a more in-depth tutorial, no voiceover, just mainly telling you what I use and stuff like that. Just trying to get more into makeup. All I feel like I do on here is like hair type of stuff, and I love not just my hair. I love makeup too. So that's what. I want to incorporate on the channel you guys so yeah and you guys been asking me to do makeup tutorials also so here you go a uh, more informative makeup tutorial and yeah so this is the look that I'm doing my everyday type of everything everyday swag type of tutorial so if you want to see this just stay tuned and keep on watching this tutorial okay it's just like a basic tutorial this is a basic everyday tutorial that's it that's it so basically I filmed the whole video last night and the beginning part of my foundation part completely did not play back for some reason so I have to read it's the next morning <laughs> and I have to redo this part of the video but it's alright. But anyways, let's go into the products. Um, first, I'm going to moisturize my face with the Nivea Cream. It looks like that. Hopefully the products show up on the camera. My ring light might be too bright, but I'll still like link everything in the um, description. I always link all my products in the description box, so make sure you look. So I'm just gonna like moisturize my face so my foundation will go on smooth because you don't want to put a foundation over dry skin. My skin is already dry. My skin is really dry during the colder months anyway. I, I, I really hate it. Like, the time when I have the best skin is literally summertime. Like, does anyone agree? Like, for real. So, we're going to let that, like, soak into my skin. You see, you can kind of already see my skin is already, like, glowing. We're going to do my hair at the end of the video too, like, it's not going to be like this. We're going to come together. We're going to come together. This whole video. And I got my coffee too, my morning coffee. Really, really good and warm. Okay, so now... <laughs> Since that's it in, the foundation I'm using is still the NARS. And with this foundation, I notice like the oil goes all the way to the top sometimes. So you gotta like pounce it around a little bit. But this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And it looks like that. Hopefully it's showing up like I said. And this is the color Medium Dark 4 Macchio. And then... Work it into my skin. And this um this um foundation kind of oxidizes. So once it's like fully on my skin and stuff, it's gonna go like to my color. This is pretty close to my color though, like for sure. It's good at all. I like to just, I like to work on the bottom of my face first. You want to get it down your neck for sure. So everything will be the same color. Make sure you get under your chin too, I notice. Okay. 
and I like to cover my tattoo on my face when I do my makeup too. So this is how I, I just kind of, any foundation really much covers it though. Like, that's why I do my foundation before I do my brows. Just because I'll go all over it. Just like that. And just blend everything together. On top of your eyelids also. I go on top of my eyelids. I'm not trying to tell anyone how to do their makeup. I'm just trying to show you how I do mine. So let me say on top of, do it like that. I go on top of my eyelids also. <laughs> this is just how I do it. You feels me? You feels what I'm talking about? Baby. I don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> so yeah, just make sure it's all blended. I need a new mirror though. My mirror is literally like this big i need a new one if you guys know of where i can get one off of amazon send me the link or something because i need one a good one okay i think that's blended enough yeah i just love this foundation it just makes you like real like glowy Cause we're gonna matte our face later, but you want like the foundation part to be really moisturizing, you know? Like I know there's like a lot of matte foundations out there, but I prefer like more of a luminous foundation and then once I put my powder on, I can mattify everything, right? Cause y'all gonna see. You see how I look like all oily and stuff, but that's okay. But this concealer I'm about to use, which is a Tarte Shape Tape, this one, I've been using it for a while. I prefer the um, NARS um, concealer. I forget what it's called, NARS something. I used to use it all the time. But I wanted to try this, and I've been wearing this. But with this, you just have to work really, really, really fast. Like, really fast. Because this is like, this is more of a drying formula. So I'm just going to put this under my eye, like that. I'm gonna do it under my eye first. You wanna bring it like down here so you won't have just that, you know, the halo right there and then it's stuck right there. I'm gonna work this in extremely fast. You see how fast it this stuff that dries so fast. That's the only thing I don't like. But anyways. Make them funny faces so you get in between them creases, girl. Oh, yeah. And I like to bring it like up on my nose because I don't like to contour my nose so I bring the concealer up here make sure and blend it out because it gives you the illusion of a smaller nose okay so now we're gonna put some over a little bit on top of my lip down my chin and highlight this forehead and a little bit on this nose. You only need a little bit of this, literally, and you can blend it up. Because it's a little bit takes uh, takes you a long way. Blend fast, girl. Like if you're a beginner with your makeup, this is not the this is not the right concealer for you. I will start off with the what is it, the LA Girl Pro Concealer? That's what I started off with. And I still use that sometimes. I actually should have used that for this video, but I used that in one of my other videos, so. So yeah, so I just blend that all out. Just like that. And I feel like I want to go a little bit lighter under my eyes. And plus I need to go on top of my eyelids. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more. I 
like to highlight a lot, y'all. And take that on top of your eyelid, just like that. Now, but when you put it on top of your eyelids, keep your eyes kind of down because you don't want to get creases under on top of them. So I'm, my eyes are going to be closed until I put my powder on there. Because it start creasing up. And it's hard to fix pretty much. So, pretty much now I'm going to take the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to set, first I'm going to set over my eyes so I can open them and take a little bit and like put it there and set those first. Just like that. So my, those are set. That's the main part. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to take the powder and set under. First, you want to make sure no, no creases are there. So blend that up more. Get in them creases as much as possible. Okay, so now this is my new favorite setting powder. Like, I love this stuff. So I'm taking it like that, and then I'm going to Press it into my skin like that. More. Put it on the other side. Press it into my skin. And put it under our skin on top of my lip, wherever I highlight it, put the concealer, that's why I'm putting this. Just like that, on my forehead, down my nose. Oops, kinda messed up there. You just brush it off if it's not, brush it off fast, so you know, it'll be still fine. But yeah, you get it. Wherever I kinda highlight it, Now I'm going to take my Morphe G.O. brush and kind of brush off the excess. And this is pretty much the foundation of the face. Now I'm going to do, my brows have been giving me such a hard time, y'all. Like, they're not good right now. And I know y'all don't want to see my brow routine because it's not on point right now because... The person did my eyebrows really messed them up. So I'm gonna do my brows off of camera and go to the next clip. <laughs> yeah, just everything's all dust. Y'all don't worry about my hair now. Like, don't do that after all this makeup is done. But now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. And I'm going to go in in the color, what is the color of this? Foundation 4.3. On the foundation side, it comes with like a foundation side. And then it comes with like a contour side, but I just use the foundation side. And I'm going to contour my face a little bit. I don't like to contour my nose just because this area for me is really small. It's just like, it's not enough room right there. So I just like leave that part alone. Like, nobody got time for that. And then I'm just going to blend it in and circle. And that's that's it. With it, that's why I like this foundation is because 
you can just like really lightly do it in circles and it like the lines disappear. You see that? And I'll do it on my forehead. Just like that. That is, and then of course you have to like set that so it won't move around. And I use, I still use my ride or die Anastasia Beverly Hills a medium to tan contour pad palette. It's dusty, y'all. It's real dusty. It's old. It's real old. And then I have this. Oh gosh, I got this from. If you live in um, LA, you know of Namie's. They have everything. That's why I got this brush from a long time ago. Long, long time ago. And I use it still. And I just gonna take the two darkest colors. I'm gonna. Pretty much just set those areas. My thing is, wherever you set, wherever you put cream, you want to set it with powder. That's my little thing. So it won't move around like during the day. Like it won't move. This way and that way, pretty much. So yeah, just set it, and it just everything just looks more better. And then you're gonna later on we're gonna um, blow up my face. So you not even wait on that. Wait on it. So yeah, so I don't really do too much of the contouring and stuff like that. So that's as much as we're gonna get. Then what's next? Oh, then we're gonna bronze. This is what I like to bronze. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M402 brush, and then I'm gonna take Max Sun Power bronze. And I'm just gonna put that on the end of the brush like that. And bronze. Just like that. This gives me a little bronze. Just chisel up those cheeks a little bit. Just after this part. Let's use the next. And then, 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 then. Let's move to highlight. Then we're gonna highlight. My highlight consists of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I've been using. Man, I've been using this for shoot, like about 10, 10 years. About two years now too. But I like to just take all the shades and then dust it across. Just like that. You see? Well, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know all my lights and stuff. Put it on my chin. I need to put it on top of my lid and on the top of my forehead, y'all. Oh, yeah. Because we like that glow. But we're not yet. And then my nose. Pretty much. Just like that. La uh, it's time for lashes. I think it's time for lashes. What do you think? Well, it's enough glow. This, I did not tell this lady gave me two lashes when I bought them, but she gave me two lashes.
But anyways, I need some mascara. You can't just do lashes without mascara. Hello mascara, and I'm using the Too Faced of Better Than Sex, of course, my favorite. This is kind of like a video of my favorite products. Obviously, it's my everyday type of makeup. Even though nobody wears makeup every single day, right? And then it's time to add false lashes, baby. Yes. Hopefully these lashes aren't too long because guess who does not have any scissors today? I don't have no scissors today. Sure. This is what I like to do to my lashes. I like to kind of like bend them like this. So give a little shape. Just like that. And then I use the duo lash um, glue. That's it. Hopefully they're not too long. Hopefully. Oh, I like these lashes. These lashes are cute. I know what's next. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go underneath my waterline and I'm gonna go with a white pencil. I do this because I have really small eyes and it's gonna open my eyes up and make me like have those baby doll effect eyes, you know? Watch. Um, you can see this one from this one. So I opened up my eyes a little bit, and now we have to put mascara on the bottom lashes, of course. Very close. And mascara at the bottom is a mess for me. It's absolutely a mess, right? Very one. Yeah, I don't worry about like the, the ugly faces I be making when I be <laughs> doing my makeup. It's just that you got to get in between every crease and stuff, bro. And I messed up. Oh, I messed up so much. I do that sometimes. I got it like right underneath. Not even on my lash, but like underneath my eye but hopefully you can't see it oh, i hope so y'all my eyes are so small that oh, shoot my eyes are so small like that's the only thing i don't like a lot of people don't have to deal with that like having small eyes my eyes are like Chinese. Completely Chinese. So it'd be like hard to get down there. But you see the difference. Like, 
I'm not gonna do like no wing liner or nothing like that today because we don't do that every day. But now it's time for lips. And lips, I'm gonna take this color in Wild Cherry. This is NARS, I think. The name is what you have doll. And Wild Cherry, I think this is what I want to take. And line these lips. This is like a, a purple plum. So I line my lips. Then Usually I just kind of go in there with uh, lip gloss, so I just go in with, oh, it's a MAC lip gloss. No, I think this is Snob lip gloss. I put that in the center. And we'll see the light. And I go in like that. Get the middle. Since I have big lips, it, it get wet right there. Like right in the middle. So you want to make sure you get in there. my everyday makeup now we're gonna do this hair girl we gotta what are we doing with this hair this hair is a mess Gonna take the cream of nature. Oh my god, this is so not cream of nature. This is Jamaican Mango and Lime Pure Naturals to spray. I used it in a video earlier this week. Or last week. You know, tell them when this video is gonna be out. So I'm gonna spray that on my edges. Oh my god, it got like on my face. Spray that on my edges. Makeup has gotten in my hair a little bit. Let's spray that all on my edges. Spray on the other side. And massage it like all into my edges. And massage it down. This works. And like do something to these edges because girl. The makeup then. I'm going to transform these edges into something that we don't want. And since it's black, it kind of kind of takes away the makeup a little bit and just push it back and then we're gonna bring the baby heads back out
Come on, go, man. It's just don't do nothing. Don't even lay your hair down. It's fine. We're gonna use it today. Usually, I use the Eco Style Styler Gel. And that's fine for me, but. As long as the edges do something. But yeah, so. That's gonna be the end of the tutorial. So that's the end of the tutorial. And. How you like the look? So my camera cut off, but thank you guys for watching. Please hit the button so you can subscribe and see further videos that I do. Love you guys. Bye.